This is lesson four homework for module seven of grade two. Put your name on here first. And we've got to complete a bar graph using this table with the types of reptiles at the local zoo. So we've got snakes, lizards, turtles, and tortoises. Those are all different kinds of reptiles. Uh, then answer the, and then we'll have some questions to answer after we finish. So our title, we can just use the title for the table. Types of reptiles. We'll need one, two, three, four categories. There's our category names: snakes, lizards, turtles, and tortoises. Snakes. Lizards, turtles, tor -E tortoises. All right. And now at the bottom we have a scale, right? That's this is our scale down here. Now are we going to go up by ones? Are we going to count by twos? What are, what do we need to do to get everything into this grid? Uh, this is the space that we have to work with. The biggest number that we have to graph is 13. Let's make sure we have 13 squares. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We do. So we can go by ones. So our scale, can we just go by ones on our, for our scale? That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13, 14. Now, for the number that we had up here, that if we had some animal that had like, uh, 20 or something, we might have to go up and count by twos at a time, and then we might have half of a square for a bar for to show single ones, but we don't have to worry about that for this because uh, we have 13 snakes, and that's going to go almost to the end. So 14 would go all the way to the end. So the snakes, sorry about that, the snakes are going to go... All the way to and if we count all these, we'll see that it comes to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, that's 13. So to shade all this in, we're going to have 13 snakes. Sounds like a lot of snakes. All right, and then lizards, there's 11 of those. So we just go 11 right here and just go up the 11 line. And here's the lizards. They're going to go all the way over to here. Just make sure we can see where that the bar ends. And it's going to scribbly color this in. Turtles 7. It's going to go to the 7 line here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can shade them in one at a time if you want. You can just do it like this. As long as you know how far to go, when, where to stop your bar. Tortoises. Eight of those. So we're going to go. That's going to be one longer than the turtles, right? Because the turtles are only seven. So that's going to go to eight right here. Tortoises, eight. Stop right here at the eight. questions. How many reptiles are at the zoo? And we're going to count all of them to figure that out. So that's going to be 13 plus 11 plus 7 plus 8. Now you might want to put this together thinking thinking that you need a pencil for one thing. All right. First thing I'm going to do when I'm adding numbers like this is I'm going to look for ways to make 10. And remember that this is uh, 8 for the tortoises here at the end. It kind of got fuzzy when my pencil ran out. But I see a, a 3 and a 7 right here. I can make a 13 and a 7. I can make an easy 20 out of that. So I'm going to say that that's 20. And then I have 20 plus 
plus still plus the seven um, plus the eleven plus the eight, right? And then this is going to be nineteen, and twenty plus nineteen, that's going to if I add the tens, that's thirty, and then nine more, that's thirty nine. How many more snakes and lizards than turtles are at the zoo? So how many more snakes and lizards? Snakes and lizards, that's going to be 13 snakes plus 11 lizards, which is 24. Then turtles, and turtles are 7. So how many more? is 24, then 7, we're going to subtract here, 24 minus 7, that's 17. How many fewer turtles and tortoises than snakes and lizards are at the zoo? So we're going to figure out turtles and tortoises, and how it says how many fewer. So we're looking for the difference between these two, and we know this is going to be less. This is going to be smaller than the snakes and the lizards, we just have to figure out how much less. So the turtles and tortoises together, that's seven plus eight, right? Because there's seven turtles and eight and eight tortoises. And then the snakes and the lizards, those are both larger categories. The snakes, there's 13. The lizards, 11. So this is 15. And this is 24. We just could we just figure that out, right? So, uh, what's the difference between 15 and 24? It's 9. Now, if you're going to do this in your head, probably you thought, if I take 4 from the 20 and then 5 more gets you to 15, that 4 and that 5, that makes 9. So that's how much you had to subtract to get there. And then we write our own question that can be answered using the data on the bar graph. Now we already had a question to ask how many reptiles there are, uh, how many more snakes and lizards than turtles. Um, we can say, oh, let's just make something up. Uh, how many Turtles are there. Now, wait a minute. I just kind of wrote myself into a corner, didn't I? Because there's not more turtles than anything, right? That's the, that's the smallest number. So I should say how many fewer turtles are there, right? How many fewer? Because there can't be more turtles than anything. It's the smallest category. So how many fewer turtles? How many fewer turtles are there? than, sorry about that, than uh, lizards. And it doesn't look like we have to come up with an answer for that, but it would be pretty easy to, to come up with an answer for that. We have turtles, we have lizards, and we can just look one, two, three, four, it's four longer, so there's four less. Lizards have four more, turtles have four less. And we have a second page. Complete the bar graph with labels and numbers using the number of underwater animals enemy Emily saw while scuba diving. So we have a title, Underwater Animals. One, two, three, four categories. Uh, sharks, I'll call it SH, stingrays, ST, and, ooh, and starfish. Let's call stingrays SR for sting and ray. Let's call that SR. And starfish SF. And seahorses S 
H. They all start with S. All right, and then we have our scale. It goes right up here, and this has to be counting. It must be counting uh, animals. So I'm just gonna write. I'm just gonna write this here. Just because I like to have labels, I like to remember what it is I'm counting. I'm counting animals. So sharks, there's six of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna go up to there. And the stingrays, nine of those. Goes right up to the nine line right here. And the starfish, there's 14 of those. That's almost all the way to the top. And the seahorses, there's 13 of those. That's the 13 line right here. Okay, gotta have the category labels. Gotta have the title, gotta have those. How many starfish than sharks did Emily see? Let's see, well, here are the sharks and here are the starfish. So we can just go right across here. We can just count it if we wanted, if we didn't wanna do the subtraction. And we just have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight more starfish than sharks. How many fewer stingrays than seahorses did Emily see? So we're looking at stingrays and seahorses. How many fewer? Well, if this has fewer, then that has more. But it'll be the same number. So we can go one, two, three, four. If this has four more, then that has four fewer. So it's four fewer stingrays. And a comparison question that can be answered using the data in the graph. So comparison is not just the how many is this, how many is that, it's not like we wanna compare two different categories or c combination of categories. Uh, how How many more, how about we just can take the two largest categories, the star fish and the seahorses. I'm gonna use my abbreviations here. Uh, than uh, sharks and starfish. That's it, we're done with uh, lesson four homework.